Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn what is anonymous inner class in Java and how we can implement anonymous inner class in Java. So before try to understand uh, what is inner, uh, I mean what is anonymous inner class and how we can implement, let's uh, let's try to understand. Uh, I have written a code uh, with a name anonymous inner class, but uh, right now nothing is as a in an anonymous class but uh, let's let me explain you what code i have written so here you can see in this pack i have a single package i have created a my interface and my interface is having only one method it's called display and that i have declared by default as you know if i haven't declared any uh, simple method declaration is there that means this is a abstract method now i have one of the implementation of this interface that is called my interface impl and basically that implements this interface and that's the region this interface uh, this uh, implementation has to override display method right and now i have a client program here i have created a reference of interface and i have assigned to its implementation object and finally with this reference i'm calling this display method and display method is getting invoked right as usually do in the java right now here basically i have created a separate class for my service impl but sometimes if you don't want to create a separate class for my service impl then same functionality you can achieve through a uh, anonymous class so what basically you do so here uh, anonymous class you can create for any interfaces or any class whether that is abstract class or concrete class uh, and uh, and for interface as well right so here uh, I don't want to create a separate class to implement this interface what I will do I will create a class without name right without name in client program itself right so what I'll do so here I'm going to create an anonymous class something like this I would say my interface and here I can give the name let's say my interface to and I would say new so when here you can see the compilers tool is giving suggestion to create anonymous inner type so you we'll select it and uh, here your curly bracket starts here and closing here and anonymous class always end with the semicolon and within this I mean it in this interface is having only one abstract method if there is a two methods then all those methods you will have to override within this body of the anonymous class but uh, here we have a only one method and that's what we are overriding only single method and here whatever functionality you want to write you can write here itself right now you got the reference right from this reference you can call its method right so i have a my interface 2 and here from from here i can call the display method so whatever functionality we were achieving uh, by creating a separate class we got in the same functionality using anonymous class right and if i run this functionality then you see so here second output we are getting from the this anonymous class so now uh, now if i ask you what is anonymous inner class then an on an inner class declared with without a uh, without a class name is known as anonymous inner class in case of anonymous anonymous inner classes we declare and instantiate them at the same place same time Generally, they are used uh, whenever you need to override the method of a class or an interface. The syntax of anonymous inner class starts from the, you will, you will have a new keyword, but it, this is not an object basically, this is anonymous class. And that's the reason after new interface, we have started a curly bracket get open and close and anonymous class always end with the semicolon. And within that, all the uh, abstract method which is available in this class you will have to override and using this reference you can call any of the method which is over overridden within this uh, portion of the code right so that's the basically anonymous class now I'm going to create an anonymous class for one of the interfaces within JDK 
so let's say we have a runnable interface can we create a anonymous class for, uh, for runnable interface yes of course so how we can do that so I would say runnable and let's say r equals to new runnable right and let's create an anonymous class then here you can see here uh, we can override our target method right and that is the run run method and I would say my task right and we get the reference of runnable right and now I'm going to create a thread reference right thread object basically thread t equals to new thread and here we have a thread constructor which accepts runnable as an argument and runnable this r we are going to pass and we can start thread here itself right so t dot uh, start right and this is the way also we can create a thread in java using anonymous class right and what was what is the another way another way what we can do we can create a class like uh, my thread and uh, that will implement runnable interface and there we can override the run method right and we can create uh, an object of that runnable class and that we will pass to the uh, basically thread constructors that is also a way but uh, sometimes uh, if you want to uh, if, if you don't want to use uh, if you don't want to reuse uh, that runnable object and only once you want to use then anonymous is class is the better approach and here if I run this project run this class then here you can see run method is running successfully right so I hope you understood how we can create an anonymous class in Java right so here one thing you will have to keep in mind here we have created uh, two anonymous classes this is the first anonymous class and this is the second anonymous class so there is a there is a separate dot class files are generated by the uh, uh, compiler for these two anonymous class as well if you go to the basically in this project uh, and if you go to the bean directory you will see uh, generated uh, dot class files for every anonymous class here we have a anonymous class so the bean com infotech client and here you can see client test dollar one that is the anonymous class created for this uh, dot class is created for this anonymous class and test dollar two that's created that uh, dot class file is created for this anonymous class right if you create more anonymous class then that will be given name as client test dollar three something like that right so that's all i want to cover in this video tutorial guys i hope you understood how to create anonymous class in java uh, if you really like this video then please hit on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel as well guys big thank you for watching this video and see you next video tutorial